Hello everyone. Welcome to Python Guides. My name is Arvind and today we will discuss about Python reverse numpy array. So, before we start, let us move forward and have a look at the agenda for today. First, we will see how to reverse an array in Python. After that, we are going to see our next topic that is how to inverse an array in Python. So, let us move forward and understand these important topics. But before I start, let me tell you guys, we have already created a detailed article on this topic and link of that article will be available in the description. You get all the code related to the examples which are available in the article only. So, now let me show you the article and we will briefly discuss about reverse numpy array. So guys, as you can see that in this article, we have covered many topics. Now I will dis uh, we will discuss some important method regarding Python reverse numpy array. And also we will take some example to check how to reverse an array in Python. So let us move forward and understand what exactly reverse function works in numpy array. So guys, reversing means suppose if you have elements in the array and you want to place end of the elements to the start and the starting element to the end. To perform this task, there are various methods to check how to reverse a numpy array in Python. So our first method is list slicing method. So basically in this method, we can reverse a list array by using slicing method. So now I am going to take an example and check how to reverse an element in array by using slicing method. Now I will copy this code and paste into my visual code studio. Now I will tell you practically how to reverse numpy array. So here is my code. So I have imported everything from numpy library and then I create a numpy array by using the function np.array. After that I create a variable and assign a reverse array by using slicing. Now I will execute this code. As you can see my output the result is displayed in the form of reverse order. Now let us move forward and understand our next method that is flip function. The flip function is a inbuilt function in Python and it is used to reverse the order of array elements by keeping the shape of the array and it, it always returns the numpy array object. So here is the syntax of the flip function. So guys, here is the name of the function that is numpy.flip within the function within the function it takes two arguments that is array and access. The numpy flip method accepts the array and access as arguments and it returns the array while preserving the shape of the array. The default value of access is num. In this parameter if the access value is negative it will count the number from the last to the first access. So guys, let's take an example and check how to use flip function while reversing an array in Python. Now I will copy this code and execute in my... Now I will tell you practically how to reverse array by using flip function. So here is my code. So I have imported numpy library and then I create a numpy array by using np.array. After that I use np.flip function and pass array as an argument and print the result. Now I will execute this code. As you can see my output, the result is displayed in the form of reverse order. Now let us move forward and understand our next method that is reverse function. This function is an inbuilt method in Python and it refers an array at its original location and it does not require extra space for storing the result. Now, let us move forward and understand how to reverse numpy array by using flip ud method. This is another method in the numpy module which reverse an array up down. In this method, the ud means up down. This method returns a view because a view shares memory with an original array. So guys, here is the syntax of flip 
UD method. Here is the name of the function that is numpy.flip UD and within the function it consists only one parameter that is input array and it will always return the array the same array as flipped in the U up down direction. Now I am going to take an example and check how to use flip UD function while reversing an array. Now I will copy this code and execute into my machine. In this code you can see that by taking one dimensional array and by using flip ud function we are flipping the array elements up and down. Now I will execute this code. You can see the screen the array is in the reverse order. Now let us move forward and understand how to use flip lr function in numpy array. This function flips the array in left right direction. This function accepts an array as an argument and returns the same array as flipped in the left right direction. So guys here is the syntax of FLR, flip lr function. So here is the name of the function that is numpy.fliplr. Within the function uh, it takes only one argument that is arr input array and this method always return the array in an left right direction. Now I am going to take an example and execute this program. As you can see the code in this program I have take a two dimension array and after that I use the f flip r lr function to flip the elements from the same row. Now I will execute this code. The reverse number array is as you can see the output 987652. So guys we have learned how we can reverse an array in Python by using various methods or techniques. Hope it gives a clear understanding. Now let us move forward and understand how to inverse an array in NumPy. To perform this task we can use NumPy uh, linalg.in function. This method is easy and available in the Python NumPy module and it is used to compute the inverse of a matrix. The inverse of a matrix exists only if the matrix is non-singular and the determinant should not be zero. So guys here is the syntax of NumPy linalg inverse. So guys this is a function name that is NumPy linalg. Lin stands for linear and alg stands for algebra and in INV in stands for inverse. So here is my code and I import. So now I am going to copy this code execute into my machine. So here is my code and I imported numpy library and then I create a numpy array by using np.array function. After that I use a np.linalg function to inverse a matrix. Now I will execute this code. As you can see the output, the result is displayed the inverse of a given array. So with this, we have completed this Python reverse numpy array topic. So guys, if you have any query regarding this topic, please do comments in comment box. And if you like this video, please subscribe this channel. Thank you.